Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog, and today I'm starting a pair of caretaker socks, and I'd like to show you how to do the circular cast on that I used here at the toe of the sock. This method is sometimes known as Emily Ocker's cast on, and it works really well for toe up socks, top down hats and mittens, and circular shawls, or anything that has worked in the round, starting with about four to eight stitches. If you're a crocheter, this cast on is very similar to starting a project with a magic ring. To begin, you'll need a crochet hook that's the same size or slightly smaller than the knitting needles you will be using. And of course, you'll need some yarn. Today, I am using Disco Yarn from Oink Pigments. I like to weave the yarn over my fingers before I cast on. And this helps me provide a little bit of tension as I work. So twist the yarn to make a ring and make sure to leave a tail here that is long enough to weave in later. And you'll notice that the yarn tail goes behind the working yarn. Then pinch where the yarns cross. And it can also be helpful to actually just loop that ring right over your middle finger and then you can pull the yarn tail to tighten up the loop just a little bit. And this just helps so that the ring isn't flopping around as you're working. So now to begin casting on, we're going to put our crochet hook down through the ring to the left of the working yarn, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through the ring. And to the left of the working yarn, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through one loop. And now we've cast on one stitch. So to continue, take your hook, go down through the ring to the left of the working yarn, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through the ring to the left of the working yarn, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through just one loop. And now we have two stitches. Down through the ring, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through the ring. Under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through just one loop. Three stitches. Down through the ring, under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through the ring. Under the working yarn, hook it and pull it through just one loop. So now I have four stitches and I'm going to continue because I need a total of eight stitches cast on. Once all your stitches are cast on, you can take your finger out of the ring. And then when you pull on the yarn tail, it's going to tighten up and close that loop. I'm not going to quite close it all the way yet. I'll do that later. Now it's time for us to transfer our stitches from the crochet hook onto knitting needles. I'm using my Addy Flexi Flips today. But you can use regular double pointed needles or even long circular needles if you prefer knitting using the magic loop method. So as you're moving your stitches from your crochet hook to the knitting needles, you need to remember to insert your knitting needle through each stitch individually from right to left through the center of the stitch and then drop it off the hook. And the reason we do this is we want to make sure that our stitches are mounted properly. And let me zoom in here. And I'm going to open up this first stitch so you can see what I mean. You want the right leg of the stitch, this right leg, to be coming over the front of the knitting needle. And the left leg of the stitch should go to the back of the knitting needle. 
I'm going to zoom back out and tighten things up. And again, we want to go from the right to the left, through the stitch, and then off the hook. From the right to the left, through the stitch, and off the hook, and then continue around. And I'm going to put four stitches onto my first needle, and then four stitches onto my next one. And again, you keep going from right to left, through the stitch, and off the hook. And then once all of your stitches are off the hook, you can begin knitting. And you can see I have a nice little ring there. And this stitch right here, this light blue one, was the first stitch that I cast on. So it's going to be the first stitch that I knit. And then I'll continue knitting in the round. And end with this dark blue stitch, which is the last stitch I cast on. As I was working the first round of my sock, you'll notice that this hole at the center opened up a little bit. Now I can see through it. And of course, you don't want that at the toe of your sock. You want it nice and tight and closed. So if this happens to you, all you have to do is take your yarn tail and just tug on it a little bit. And you can see it closes up that little gap at the center. And then you'll just weave in the yarn tail into your sock when you get a little bit further along. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a circular cast on. And if you'd like to try this cast on in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and search for my caretaker socks pattern. Until next time, happy knitting.